Hi, this is Tarek Sami and Manos Brilakis, and this is case 181 for the Manual of CTO Interventions. This is a case of an investment procedure. The patient was a middle-aged gentleman who presented with significant angina and was found to have inferior ischemia on stress testing. Coronary angiography demonstrated mild to moderate disease in the LAD, some disease into the proximal circumflex. And uh, there was collateral filling all the way to the PDA and the PLV. The right coronary artery had a CTO in the mid-segment. This is the dual injection. We do have a CTO of the RCA with a well-defined proximal cap, although there is a small branch next to the proximal cap. The length appears to be relatively short, about 20 millimeters. Distal vessel has some diffuse disease. And then the posterolateral appears to be filling via some epicardial collaterals coming from the circumflex. There also may be some septal collaterals filling it. So based on these findings, our plan was to start with undergrade wiring and then uh, proceed with undergraded sexual reentry, leaving retrograde as the third approach. We did undergrade wiring with a turnpike LP and a fighter, polymer jacketed, soft tapered guide wire. We could not make much progress. We switched for a Gaia second. The Gaia second is actually outside the vessel architecture, highlighting the importance of the dual injection to minimize uh, any perforations that could have happened and we pushed the microcatheter through. We then tried to undergrade again, but then the wire seems to be knuckling in the mid RCA and we had a hard time advancing it further down. Based on that, we decided to switch to retrograde. We did surfing through the septal branch, but could not make it connect. And actually, after injecting contrast, it became apparent that there was no continuous connection of the septal branches with the PDA. However, we did also IVOS because on some projections, the LED and the circumflex appear not to be uh, the best, and actually that showed significant disease in both the circumflex as well as the LED. This was a Medina 011 bifurcation, and we decided to stand it using the DK crash technique. We prepared both lesions, placed a 3.5 stand into the large obtuse marginal branch, having a balloon into the LED. The stand was deployed, good result was confirmed. We came back with LED balloon and crushed the stand that was protruding into the left main. And then we rewired into the first kissing balloon inflation that went well. We then placed the stand from the left main into the LED, uh, did the proximal optimization with a 4.0 millimeter balloon. We rewired into the circumflex and then did the second kissing balloon inflation, repeat pot, but then intravascular ultrasound uh, showed good expansion, but there was some stand malaposition more proximally towards the proximal end of the left main. That is why we decided to do pot with a 5.0 millimeter balloon. This gave a nice result. And then we decided to go back into the crossing of the RCA. Um, we had um, uh, an attempt, brief attempt for going retrograde through the epicardial from the circumflex that was not successful. And then we went back undergrade again. Um, we had difficulty crossing the proximal cap and we switched to undergrade the sexual reentry. We did the base technique or balloon assisted subintimal entry. We did have a balloon inflated over a second guide wire in the proximal portion of the vessel. And then eventually we were able to advance a gladius mongo wire that seemed to go along the course of the RCA. Um, we could not deliver the microcatheter, but the wire, the Mongo, was changed for a Gaia second. And this is contralateral injection demonstrating that we're dancing with the vessel, so we're within the vessel architecture. This is the orthogonal projection, which demonstrates clearly that we are moving again with the vessel, dancing with the vessel, but we're not in the true lumen, but we're in the extra plaque space. The proximal cap was uh, uncrossable, could not get the microcatheter through, we did uh, balloon inflations with a 1.0 millimeter sapphire. We switched the Gaia for a Mongo. And after doing multiple additional dilatations with a 1.5 millimeter balloon and using a six French strap liner, we were finally able to deliver a stingray balloon all the way to the distal RCA. We then did re entry attempts using the double blind stick and swap technique, a Stato 20 and a Pilot 200. And although the wires seemed to go in the right place, it was not. We then switched for the recross dual lumen microcatheter, applied suction through one of the lumens and tried to re-enter through the other lumen. But unfortunately, we had the same problem and we were aspirating a lot of blood, suggesting that we had a fairly extensive extra plaque hematoma. 
We then did the full straw technique in which we advanced an over the wire balloon next to the a new stingray balloon, applied suction through the uh, over the wire balloon, and then tried re entry again. That we did several times. We tried the bobsled, meaning trying a different location of the vessel in order to re enter. And uh, we did have uh, difficulty re entering, as you can see over here, the polymer jacketed wire. Um, was advancing in the wrong place, but eventually it seemed to go along the course of the vessel. This is an injection from the left, showing that distally the wire is in the true lumen, but the re-entry point was actually unclear. At this point, we did a balloon angioplasty of the entire right coronary artery into the right posterior lateral, and that did restore undergrade flow into the posterior lateral, but there was some residual dissection into the PDA. So at this point, we're in investment mode. We made multiple attempts to get into lumen, but the re-entry point was unclear and was likely to distal. So what we did here is to establish flow in the PDA, we took a polymer jacketed wire and did the STAR technique, in which a knuckle wire is advanced distally until it actually enters into the distal true lumen, which we know it happens once the knuckle becomes smaller. And this is the final result. So we were able to restore undergrade flow in both the posterior lateral as well as the right posterior descending artery. But because we have multiple dissection planes and we're uncertain about the point of re-entry, we did not place any stents. So this is an example of an investment procedure. There are multiple lessons from this case. The first one is the importance of changing. We had multiple changes until we were able to finally successfully recanalize the vessel. We had difficulty crossing the proximal cap, and the solution was eventually with multiple balloon inflation, small balloons, increasing support, and using a guide extension. We were eventually able to deliver a stingray system as well as a recross for re entering. But since we failed to re enter proximally to the bifurcation, we did not want to place stents. Instead, we did balloon angioplasty of the entire RCA, the posterior lateral, and the PDA, and this restored flow. The plan is to bring the patient back in approximately two months and see how the artery looks at the time and then place stents and quite often we need to place much fewer stents at the time of the follow-up. Thank you.